In this episode of the Huberman Lab podcast, host Andrew Huberman interviews professional skateboarder Tony Hawk. They discuss Tony's career, his passion for skateboarding, and the mindset and persistence required to achieve success. Tony Hawk began skateboarding at a young age and quickly fell in love with the sport. He didn't initially have aspirations of becoming a professional skateboarder, but he knew he wanted to skateboard for as long as possible. Tony's parents were supportive of his passion and encouraged him to pursue his dreams. During his early years in skateboarding, Tony faced challenges and criticism from others. He was labeled as a trick skater and faced bullying from his peers. However, he remained focused on improving his skills and pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the sport. Tony's drive and determination led to his success in skateboarding. He developed new maneuvers and tricks that pushed the sport forward, including the famous 900-degree spin in the air. He also popularized skateboarding through his video game and ambassadorship for the sport. Throughout his career, Tony has faced injuries and setbacks, including a major femur break. However, he has always been able to come back stronger and continue progressing in his skills. He attributes his ability to recover to his love for skateboarding and his commitment to his craft. Tony's approach to learning new tricks is systematic and methodical. He breaks down each trick into its component parts and combines existing tricks to create something new. He visualizes the trick in his mind and focuses on the timing and execution required to make it work. Despite his fame and success, Tony remains grounded and humble. He never sought fame or fortune and was uncomfortable with the attention he received. He credits his parents for instilling values of hard work and responsibility, which helped him navigate the challenges of fame. The conversation then shifts to the science behind dreams and the experience of dream paralysis. Tony shares his experiences with dreams about skateboarding and how they have changed over time. He discusses the shift in dreams after a traumatic injury and the importance of the liminal state between wakefulness and sleep for generating new ideas. Tony also talks about the recent injury he suffered and his recovery process. He shares the dreams he had about getting back to skateboarding and the importance of discipline, dedication, and the drive to push through challenges in order to achieve success. The evolution of skateboarding is another topic of discussion. Tony reflects on the early days of skateboarding when it was seen as a rebellious and countercultural activity. He also talks about the diversity within skateboarding and how it has grown to include different styles and approaches. The impact of video games on skateboarding is also explored. Tony shares his early experiences with video games and his involvement in the development of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series. He discusses the initial challenges of pitching the idea and the eventual success of the game. Tony also talks about the role of video games in inspiring kids to try skateboarding in real life. Tony also talks about his transition from being a professional skateboarder to owning and managing his own skateboard company, Birdhouse. He describes the challenges and responsibilities of being a team manager, owner, and skater all at once. While it was exhausting, he felt it was necessary to make his brand successful. The conversation then shifts to Tony's ability to make good decisions and avoid distractions. He attributes this to the guidance of his parents, who instilled in him the importance of making smart financial decisions and avoiding drugs and alcohol. He also mentions that he had a deep passion for skateboarding, which kept him focused on his goals. Dr. Huberman asks Tony about his interest in music and other hobbies. Tony explains that while he enjoys music and other activities like surfing and snowboarding, he is cautious about getting too involved in other sports or activities that could risk his skateboarding career. He shares a story about injuring himself while snowboarding and learning the importance of staying focused on skateboarding. The conversation then turns to Tony's family and his children's involvement in skateboarding. Tony reveals that his oldest son, Riley, has become a professional skateboarder and has achieved success in his own right. 
He expresses his pride in his children's skateboarding abilities and the joy of being able to skate with them. They also discuss the influence of Tony's parents, Frank and Nancy, on his life and career. Tony recalls how they took in a young skater, who turned out to be Dr. Huberman, and provided him with a safe and supportive environment. He expresses his gratitude for their love and support. Dr. Huberman and Tony also touch on the importance of music in skateboarding and how certain songs can inspire and motivate skaters. Tony shares that he had a playlist specifically for attempting a difficult trick, and certain songs would get him in the right mindset. The conversation then delves into the topic of female skateboarders and the progress that has been made in the sport. Tony acknowledges the pioneers who paved the way for female skaters and the increasing acceptance and inclusivity in skateboarding. He mentions the importance of equal divisions and equal opportunities for men and women in skateboarding events. They also discuss the role of signature memorabilia and the challenges Tony faces with resellers and collectors. Tony shares that while he is open to signing autographs for genuine fans, he has encountered people who exploit his signature for profit. He explains that this has made it difficult to differentiate between true skate fans and those who are only interested in reselling items. Finally, they touch on Tony's philanthropic efforts, including his involvement with Kevin Rose and Jim Thibault. Tony mentions that both Kevin and Jim were board members of the Skateboard Project, an organization that supports skateboarding programs for underserved youth. Overall, the podcast provides insights into Tony Hawk's life and career, highlighting his financial decisions, family support, passion for skateboarding, and involvement in philanthropy. Tony's story serves as an inspiration for aspiring skateboarders and demonstrates the importance of perseverance, focus, and making smart decisions.